Hey everyone, Jameson here. So, at this point, it was starting to become obvious to me that the NPCs in Watch Dogs Legion don't actually do all that much. I'd followed several people around for quite some time. That last guy, the delivery man, uh, I have two hours of footage of me following him and all he ever did was drive and then walk around uh, until he got to what I presume is his home. I followed many others and the results were all very similar. NPCs walk around for various amounts of times uh, until they go into a building or a subway station and never come out. I did notice that sometimes they'll be doing a specific activity. You saw the guy playing the harmonica earlier. This guy here has a cleanup job of some sort, you know, sweeping the sidewalk. But that one activity is all they seem to do. Once that activity is completed, they head to a building or a subway station and then vanish. The guy cleaning the sidewalk here swept that one spot for eight hours and then left. Uh, it's exhilarating. These two security guys here are on the job and talking to each other for the entire day until their shift ends, at which point they just go straight to a subway station and vanish. Or these two relatives here, they are socializing for a while talking to each other, uh, and then they part ways and head to a building, in this case it was a movie theater he was heading towards. The most interesting thing I saw throughout all my hours looking into the NPCs was watching this guy here get stopped for a security check. But they just stood there for ages doing nothing, uh, so I got bored and intervened, and the security guys ended up freaking out and it resulted in him getting arrested. Uh, whoops. The NPCs don't really have much to do even in the way of the standard open world jobs you would expect. Taxis are self-driving, shops are just a window storefront with zero employees, you can't go into a restaurant or anything like that. Uh, it's a little strange. What I suspect is going on is that the game is simulating all these NPC traits and behaviors behind the scenes and presenting it pretty much exclusively through the in-game scanning HUD pop-up things that you've been seeing. The NPC schedules can definitely be dynamically altered and interrupted based on your actions, which is neat, but when left to their own devices, the NPCs just seem to do very little. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this weird video. I think that's gonna pretty much do it. I started off hoping it would be a nice clean slick video like the Red Dead videos I did, but it ended up having to swerve off into this deep dive explanation to get to the bottom of really what was going on and to properly explain it to everyone. So I guess that's it. The NPCs in Watch Dogs Legion turns out don't do all that much. Thanks for watching, and as always, a huge thank you to our Patreon supporters. If you're interested, you can check us out at patreon.com slash defendthehouse. All the support there goes a long ways to help us make our videos better and better. Uh, we'll hopefully be doing some more content with Watch Dogs Legion, specifically Mythbusters, even though this almost turned into a Mythbusters episode in a way. Uh, and of course, the big fall season uh, is almost here with Call of Duty and Next Gen and more and Cyberpunk, even though that just got delayed. Um, anyways, look forward to all that. It's going to be popping off very, very soon. That's it for me. As always, be good, stay safe, and see you in the next one.